Elon Musk hates Twitter. Elon Musk's love and hate for Twitter is no secret. The billionaire Tesla and SpaceX CEO has a big plan for Twitter, and he's not afraid to tell everyone about it. His plan revolves around defeating spam bots on the network, as well as modifying the algorithm to authenticate all actual humans, which he feels will aid in the spread of free expression on the microblogging platform. In this video, we will tell you all the details about why Elon Musk dislikes Twitter and how he aims to improve it. Elon Musk has a massive 95 million followers on Twitter. He tweets a lot, sometimes controversially, and sometimes in a sarcastic tone. His tweets have such a big impact that the SEC barred him from tweeting about Tesla, after one of his tweets resulted in wiping $14 billion off Tesla's stock price. Musk's major reason to purchase Twitter is that he wants to see it reach its full potential. After tweeting his $44 billion bid to purchase Twitter, Elon Musk expressed his dedication to enhancing the social network by making the algorithms open source. He proposed that the algorithm that governs how tweets are promoted and degraded will be posted to GitHub, making it accessible to individuals outside of the company. People from around the world can look over it and point out problems and suggest changes in the way that Linux or Signal can be updated. Algorithms are a favorite target in arguments over social media platforms, political prejudice, and misinformation. It's more difficult to find answers for some people's political and personal objectives for manipulating algorithms. While algorithmic harm is a serious issue, algorithms are always created by humans. Understanding the human decision-making process that go into algorithms is more important than just revealing code. The algorithms used by Twitter have been a subject of controversy for many years now. For instance, many conservative lawmakers say that algorithms keep them silent. However, the company suggests that Twitter algorithms actually favor conservative tweets over left-leaning ones. In theory, the solution to all of this is transparency as it may alleviate these fears, because it is easy to criticize opaque technology systems. However, it should be kept in mind that greater transparency only appears to make a lot of sense on the surface. For example, social media sites such as Twitter, Facebook, and TikTok hold great power and influence, but its users and regulators are largely unaware of their existence. And, just as a computer program's source code may be examined for faults or backdoors, releasing the code that Twitter makes could, in principle, indicate that the platform favors certain sorts of information over others. Even though Musk has time and again said that he will solve the algorithm issue, it is not that easy. The first major issue that he will face is there is no one algorithm that controls Twitter's decision to elevate or bury information. In fact, there are several separate algorithms that execute a sophisticated code atop mountains of data and a variety of human behaviors. Additionally, each user's results are personalized depending on their unique information and behavior. This implies that there is no master algorithm for Twitter. Another concern for Musk is that Twitter makes a lot of decisions based on machine learning. For instance, Twitter uses a variety of machine learning models to determine which posts should be prioritized in users' feeds depending on a plethora of parameters. These models cannot be examined like conventional code and must be tested in an environment that closely resembles the real world. In the real system, the models also change quickly in response to a constant stream of fresh data, user activity, and moderator input. As a result, they would quickly become an untrustworthy source of information, so it would not be easy for Elon to do what he wants. Similar to algorithms, bots are frequently blamed for many of Twitter's problems. Bots are programmed by humans and don't do things on their own. They do everything from providing real-time information and articles to annoying users and fooling them into scams on Twitter. Twitter has implemented a number of measures to combat these nefarious bots. The company has introduced features such as GoodBot to assist users in determining if a bot is good or not. However, at least in Musk's opinion, that isn't enough. Over the years, bots' capabilities have also increased substantially as bot makers now know how to make bots appear real by giving them images and bios, thus allowing bots to avoid detection by the Twitter code. With these improvements, it is now even more difficult to distinguish between good and harmful bots. Bots have been a source of frustration for Musk himself. He has already highlighted concerns about crypto bots, which have defrauded many investors over the past few years. Musk is powerful, and the creators of these bots are well aware of this. They also know that Musk is a crypto aficionado, making it easy for them to dupe individuals into frauds with him. Musk now appears to be fed up with it, and he wants Twitter to be free of bots. That makes sense, because spam is annoying in any form. And when it becomes a conduit for money frauds, it's better to do something about it. He claimed in a recent TED Talk that if he had a Dogecoin for every crypto fraud he encountered on Twitter, he'd have a 100 billion Dogecoin portfolio. As a result, Musk aims to defeat spam bots. However, it will not be so simple for him. 
engagement is crucial for a platform like Twitter, and automated Twitter bots can even occasionally outperform human users in terms of engagement. As Twitter solely depends on engagement, Musk will face an uphill battle eradicating bots, unless he devises a mechanism that allows him to do so. And even if he devises a strategy and discloses it to the users, it will take time and be difficult to implement. Musk also wants to modify Twitter's core revenue model, which is dependent on advertising. He's more interested in the subscriptions model, which could be difficult to market in a world where all of the major social networks are available for free. He proposed the idea of giving users the opportunity to decide whether they want their data to be used to monetize or not, and are prepared to pay for it. As Musk is quite famous in the crypto world, cryptocurrencies could also prove to be a part of Twitter in the future. He may even use the platform to encourage payments in unprotected, volatile currencies such as Bitcoin and Dogecoin. All in all, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO recommends that the solution to all of Twitter's problems will essentially be Twitter as a digital square, transparent Twitter algorithms, and Twitter solutions to bots and authentication. However, it is worth mentioning that it just won't be as straightforward, as history has shown before. If Musk is serious about making Twitter a healthy, thriving part of the digital public sphere, he'll need to engage with all users to learn about their diverse experiences on the network. At the end of the day, Twitter's issues are fundamentally human issues. The people who develop or misuse technical issues are the only ones who can make them worse or solve them. That's it from today's video. If you found this video helpful, then make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing and informative videos we have in store for you.